Hello and welcome back to City Planner Place where we are building the City of Bluffside Crossing. And I wanted to take a quick look over at the uh, Pleasant Point uh, trailer park in the Pleasant Point neighborhood. I believe that's what their names are. The Pleasant Point Park and oh, Ple the Pleasant District. And uh, to, kind of, to kind of take a look at how things are going over here. Uh, in, in one of the previous episodes, I, I fixed this district. It had uh, leveled up and upgraded and it was no longer a trailer park. It was kind of a high-end neighborhood, which was weird. So I, uh, I, I fixed it and it looks like everything is back to normal. I also just wanted to take a look at this neighborhood and kind of see what's going on. And it looks like we're finally getting some industrial filling in. Things are going well. I think, uh, I think this is gonna continue to build out and I'm pleased with how it's going. And sometime in the future, I'd like to build this neighborhood further, but that day is not today. So today, I actually want to uh, take a request that uh, is something that I've been meaning to get to, but just haven't, haven't actually done it. And that is I want to build a fishing village. So the administrator of the, uh, the, the City Planner Plays Discord server actually requested this, and uh, I think it's a great idea. So I've done a little bit of work scoping things out before I started this episode. And uh, so I'll show you what I did. So first of all, I took a look at topography. And you know, with any planning study, you'd want to look at all of the, the, the natural features, the natural environs, and, and, and make sure that you understand exactly what you're getting into. So uh, what you'll notice, so as we uh, will go along the banks, there's not a lot that's flat. There's a couple areas, but how do we get here? <laughs> you know, like it's it's quite a ways away from anything that's built. So we keep going along, and the topography makes all of these areas challenging to build in. And you know, I could go through and, and show you every single area. You're gonna kind of see the same thing. We have these uh, kind of fingers, these bluffs, popping up out of the water with no real bank. So challenging to create a fishing village there uh, but I did find one place that I think is good and I also the other thing I looked at is I wanted to see what was available so these different colors represent the different types of fish or or uh, you know things that can be that can be fished out of the water or caught and uh, in this area where I was so I, I there are two areas I, I narrowed it down to one was kind of this little stream area and uh, there's really only salmon there there's a little bit of anchovy uh, not good for a diversified industry uh, this area over here that we already built on that's a little better but we're out of luck we've already built there and then if you look over here this is kind of close to our dam there's an opportunity here but i feel like this isn't a great place for a secluded fishing village <laughs> considering it's right by the athletic facilities and I feel like we're starting to jam pack things in there and having an incompatible use isn't isn't a great solution so I started to get a little bit discouraged uh, you know truthfully this area where the dam is it's probably a good location uh, but we have a power plant there now and that's now the the home of a busy road and then I found this area and what I noticed is that all of the different types of fish are available here. So you get anchovies, salmon, shellfish, and tuna. So I got really excited when I saw this. And when you look at the topography, it's not perfect, but we can work with this. I think we can terraform a bit and make something really special here. So I think that what we're gonna do is build in this area. And the other thing that makes it really ideal is if you look at the location, we have all of these transportation facilities in close proximity and power and water. So what we're going to do is take a look at this road right here. It's right now it's Ward Street. We're going to convert this into a highway, bring this down the hill, and then we want to look at where the banks are. We, obviously, we don't want to send our... Uh, our, our fishing vessels down rapids <laughs> to go and get fish. So we're gonna need to be at least at the mouth of this river. 
kind of where it opens up into this kind of sea lake-ish type area where we have some of those you know this cruise ship filled with passengers coming into the city so a little bit of an idea of how this connects up to the rest of the area okay got rid of all those labels so cruise ships enter here they loop back around and they reach up with our tourism district so it's a little bit off the beaten path it would certainly seem like a nice secluded area to have this sort of amenity so the problem is this is outside of our building area but that's not a huge deal because we have the 81 tile mod enabled so we'll just buy some tiles <laughs> so remedied that very quickly so now I'm going to go ahead and start building this road down now one of the first issues I see is that we have this substation uh, built basically right off this this future highway so we're gonna call a mulligan on this and move it <laughs> super realistic there and uh, start to build this road down to this village Okay, so you may have noticed that I just cut away and transitioned, and uh, that's because I just learned a very painful lesson. <laughs> I finished this episode uh, for the most part, and at the end, uh, the game crashed. And uh, unfortunately, I didn't have autosaves on, so I'm back to here. That said, I've learned a lot, <laughs> so we're going to, uh, to, to continue. So I'm noticing right here that there are some weird grade things happening, and I, I think that that's from when um, when I built this uh, solar array I, I did a little bit of ground modification and I, I want to fix that so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna, I'm gonna feather this out whoa or I'm gonna do that <laughs> not that this okay much better <laughs> so from here I think I'm gonna just run this uh, down and try to get as close as I can while respecting the topography. So we will begin that process now. Okay, I purchased these tiles and you saw that, I gotta redo it. <laughs> so that's hopefully the only thing I have to redo. All right, we're pretty close to where I want to end up. So I'm gonna try to work this down and then we'll get building. I think I'm gonna leave it here for now. Somewhere along the way, um, I, for some reason, started raising the height on this. So I'm going to lower all of these roads. That is not very respectful of the topography to <laughs> arbitrarily raise this up 17 or so meters. Then I think I'm just gonna kind of visually inspect this and try to go about making some of these grades a little bit more natural so right here you can see that uh, you know each of these lines is a foot that's really steep and knowing that there's gonna be some industry vehicles going up here you wouldn't want to leave that kind of a grade change or that a meter not a foot sorry Okay, and because of just how steep this is, so if we were driving down here, and you inadvertently went straight, splash. <laughs> so I think that we are gonna put some sort of railing on here. 
Okay, so I'm gonna use the single-sided guardrail. Uh, bear with me now as I, as I put that on the side of here. I think it's important. Okay, I see another grade issue here. This is very, very steep. So we're again going to temper that slope a little bit. And this is the kind of thing that would normally happen, you know, at the time of grading, but it's a lot easier if you have move it, just to use move it to uh, do your grading after the fact. <laughs> okay, so I think that's probably good enough with the fence. I do or the guardrail. So I think that that's really important. You know, I know that some people might comment that uh, that's unreasonable, unrealistic, that would never happen. Not in my country, not where I live, uh, I, uh, totally unnecessary. And it's, so I mean, it's a safety benefit no matter where you live, <laughs> no matter what part of whatever country you live in. The, at least in my neck of the woods, for the longest time, uh, there was kind of a paradigm where you could only apply so you only get those rails either at time of construction or if there's an accident <laughs> and, and not just an accident most of the time it's a fatality and that paradigm is shifting a little bit and you don't need a fatality to to qualify for guardrails <laughs> and I, I think that that's a good thing so I'm also noticing though that there's some tearing so this is just kind of a, a me thing. I'm going to extend some of this. I'm gonna, well, I'm gonna try to improve it. So I'm just using the right mouse button and this, uh, this feathering tool, the soften the terrain tool. I'm going along the edge and I'm thinking that this might fix the tearing issues that we see. Let's check it out. Ooh. Fix some of them. Some of them are still really bad. Wow. That, that actually worked out f pretty well. I mean, there's still some issues, but it's, it's not nearly as bad. So I'm going to leave it there. Now, the theory behind what I'm going to do here, uh, basically, you know, we have some of the same grade challenges that we had in other parts. It's a little bit flatter, uh, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to do a, a little bit of cheating here. I'm going to imagine uh, that we're going to take some of this hillside and push it out into the water to create docks. And I want the docks to line up with the fish that are in the water. So I'm going to go in here. We'll take a look. And we see that we have salmon, then anchovy, then shellfish, then tuna. And we also have general purpose fishing boats. So um, I'm going to start out not worrying about that all that much. And instead, what I'm going to do is I'm going to flatten the terrain. And I'm going to try to get it pretty close to shore level. Okay, now that we have a flat pad to work with, I'm gonna put a kind of a, a, a kind of a guard or not guard, uh, uh, kind of a a road to to begin all my work on uh, a road that will will kind of be the, the the main street in the fishing village, and from there, I'm gonna make heavy use of. Uh, Uh, of some of the tools I have with the fine fine road anarchy to, to make this work. So let's see where I'm placing this first one. I want to go 20 tiles out, keep it flat, go five tiles over. And what I'm going to do this entire time 
is try to make sure that everything is staying flat and, 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 and kind of true. Okay, so what I did there is I just found a node that I wanted to use as kind of my base level. And uh, I'm using that to set the height of everything here. Because I think that being really flat is going to be really important. And then I'm going to use that same height to fill in this area that will be my future dock. And let me double check. We're going to put our first harbor in place. And I just want to make sure I'm using the right one. So the first one will be salmon. Actually, I'm going to take a beat. Maybe we should put some keys up. I think, I think I'll hear about that in the comments. <laughs> and, and truthfully, I just think it's, it's not a bad idea to put those up here. So let's go about that. Okay, that is much better. Let's clear that. Now I'm just gonna place this uh, the salmon f uh, fishing uh, dock right off the bat. Just wanna take care of it and we will clean things up after. Okay, so now I'm just gonna select roads in that area and eliminate those. Nice. So a little bit of cleanup work with the grades, but I think we're looking good. Oh, except for that, whatever that is. Why is that sticking out? So something weird is here. And I'm going to try to figure it out because I really hate that. Yeah, it's that. Hmm. Let's see if there's another way to deal with this. Okay, so that did the trick. Just a little bit too close to that road and as a result, had a weird uh, little angle there. Okay, maybe it's not 100% perfect, but this is pretty darn good, so I think I might leave it and use this as my pattern for the rest of the area. So the way that I'm going to do this is I'm going to select buildings, props, you know, kind of a little bit of everything. And just, whoops, that's what I'm going to do. <laughs> but for now, I'm just going to highlight this and then mirror it. And then we'll have to take a look and fix some of it. Clearly it didn't didn't work out perfectly, but that's okay. Okay, now let's level everything out here. And then we will do the same thing with the land and fill things in with that same height. Now we're gonna need to do a little bit of dredging here. Otherwise, this won't function the way that it's supposed to. And I think that we're gonna actually extend these keys over and connect them up. So let's do that right now too. Okay, always a little bit finicky with some of those nodes. So let's look at the next dock we want to put out. So we have our salmon, we have our anchovy, and now we need our shellfish. 
So I might do shellfish on this side and general purpose fishing on that side. So let's see. Shellfish. And then just the normal fishing harbor over here. For some reason, this one it doesn't like as much. So we're going to have to do a little bit of move at work. So we've got some weird stuff going on in here. Okay, that's better. There's like a, a little mini road segment that uh, oh, we're still seeing some weird stuff here. So I don't know what that connected to, but it wasn't <laughs> the road. Hmm. Let's extend this out. Maybe that's part of the problem. Okay, just the shade tedious, but we got it. <laughs> so we're good there. Let's get these last roads connected up. Oh, and I see we have another one of those little segments. Hmm, more kind of weird uh, move it oddness. So we're just going to select roads and hopefully make this stop. All right, got it. So we're good there. And I want to be really careful about this and make sure that I am addressing things kind of as they come up. So that's why I'm moving this key right now. Okay, much, much, much better. I think I might finish the grading in this area too. Might as well. And we're going to need to do the same thing over here. But I want to extend that wall out. Okay, so I think we're in a better spot here. Let's make sure all of our heights are correct. And then we can do the rest of our grading for this area. All right. Already liking the look of this better. So let's soften this just a little bit. Apparently by softening, I also lowered it. <laughs> so, the never-ending madness. Okay. I'm going to call that good enough for me. And hopefully good enough for you too, because I am done with it. <laughs> okay. So we do have some water on the roads here. Hopefully that clears up. Maybe a way to ensure it clears up would be to connect it to the rest of the city. So we'd get some trucks down here to actually deal with this and remedy some of these issues that we have as they come. Now I'm gonna force a connection here and we will play with that. Okay, that is pretty steep, but I think I'm going to leave it for now because I really want to get back to what I was working on. So now we have most of the docks in place. We're going to need at least one more and that is, I believe, the salmon dock. Let's see. See, so yeah, we need one more dock for salmon and I think we might just kind of place that... Uh, 
along Parkway. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to extend this key wall out and then place the new dock right on Parkway. Actually, no, I'm not. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to once again kind of mirror this and I might put another general purpose fishing dock. Oh, we're... Oh, never mind. I thought we were backwards for a second for some reason. Okay, so we are back to grading madness. So let's get this back over here. We're going to again force ground heights. And we're going to need to f make this all flush with everything else that we've done. Much, much, much better. So, let's see. Right here we have another general purpose fishing harbor. We have the shellfish harbor. I think we're going to leave this one. Eliminate this one and replace it with that tuna. That's right, tuna. Hmm. That is weird. So it lined up absolutely incorrectly. <laughs> <laughs> Left a weird little kind of disjointed bit there. We will remedy that. There we go. Much better. We'll make our connections. So I think we have this road thing going on again. Where again we... Um... Where again, we have some roads that we might not be able to see otherwise. So we're just going to highlight the roads in this area and eliminate them. Hopefully that solves all of our problems. It does. Perfect. So much easier. All we have to do now is level some ground and we should be in a good spot. So let's go about that now. And then our key walls. And then I think we're going to turn park. So I'm going to take this wall and just kind of let it go this way. Oh, there's some... Is that a corruption? No, I don't think it is. All right, so once again, we need some grading by the shore, some dredging. Going to want, want to take that down a notch. We again have some kind of weird stuff going on here with the key wall, so we'll need to do something about that. Okay, so apparently that fixed it. That was good enough for the game, and it's good enough for me if it's good enough for the game. That's not good enough for me. So I'm noticing that there's something funky going on with it's either this this wall right here. Let's see. Yeah, I think it was that wall. So let's see if we can connect up. Alright, we're good. We are good. That is looking slick. I like that. I like that a lot. So, let's get our road paralleling this. And uh, we're going to need to figure out utilities in this area now, too. So I do see there are a couple weird things going on here. We could certainly try to make this 100% perfect. I don't know that it's 100% worth our time. <laughs> uh, but what is going to be worth our time is making sure that we have enough ground to or level ground in all these areas and then the other thing is we have all of these underwater trees now I can't stand that so I'm just gonna get rid of the underwater trees or try to and fail okay very very good so we got the underwater trees gone let's I want to give a little bit of space along the base of this bluff 
So this is going to be for a couple of reasons. Number one, zoning. Number two, when you have a when you give yourself a little bit more space, you make that taper a little bit easier. And you'll see what I mean. So I want this to be a nice smooth gradation down to the road area. And the way to do that is really to, to set this back and maybe even feather more. So now we should be in a better spot with our grades. Let's check it out. Can we zone there? Might need to upgrade these roads just to see the zoning. Yeah, we can. We're good. So let's adjust our roads. I think I want to do one-way loops through here and I'm going to have those go counterclockwise. Ah. So I need to use touch it to make this work. So I don't think I have that enabled right now, so I might need to to hold off on this uh, for the time being. That is going to be a problem. It's one of the things I really don't like about these assets is that they have those roads built in and those roads do not work well. <laughs> so, so I think I am going to just try to connect to the rest of the city network as far as it relates to water. Probably not my most realistic thing, <laughs> but we've, we've made other fairly unrealistic water decisions uh, as it relates to going down the bluff. So uh, why stop now? <laughs> All right, now we're going to need power. So I think this one I'm going to try to be a little bit more conscientious about. Actually, yeah, I'm going to, I'm going to kind of work to the same area and then go right up through this canyon. I don't know how realistic that is. If uh, have any utility engineers out in the audience, let me know. Oh, well, that's not good. I know that. <laughs> I have anarchy on. <laughs> okay, so that gets us power to our area, assuming that we have some, some zones here. So I want to get some stuff going. So I do need to make this zoning show up. And the way that we're going to do that is to upgrade those roads and then downgrade them. That'll do the trick. And I think along here, we're just going to have a, a, a bunch of commercial. So I think this would be a place that people would want to come and check it out, look, and also a place that workers want to come and uh, you know, grab a bite to eat. So I need to bring water down to these harbors all right very nice and the next thing we're gonna need some residential in this area you know uh, in the middle of here I don't know exactly what I want to put I think for the time being I just might put some landscaping or uh, not, not even landscaping let's just use surface painter get hard brush I think now that I think about it, this might actually be a good spot for parking because otherwise, where do all these workers park? But I'm going to look that up. I, I want to know what types of things generally go in between these sorts of harbors. For now, I'm just going to put that there and we'll, uh, we'll uh, handle that later on. I do want to put a little bit of landscaping. So we're going to use prop line tool and I want really low landscaping. All right, little issue there. So this isn't perfectly straight and it's hard to tell that when you're looking at it, but when you're looking in this view, 
significantly, or when you're trying to place things and it's not placing them, significantly easier. Prop line tool, tool certainly points out that that is not straight. Okay, much better. Now we are gonna need some residential in this area, some employees. So I, I before this all develops out, I think I wanna put some roads back here. And I'm actually going to dezone this. We're gonna to wanna to have our fish factory, so it might be a good spot for it. So we are gonna to wanna to take a look at our topography. And we're gonna have kind of a, a curvier road back here, trying to meet up with everything. So we're gonna completely disregard the topography in just a second. Actually, no, we won't. All right, that's a little bit better. So the, this is a, these are really narrow, uh, and I know I don't really mind that necessarily, because we are going to expect that these are going to be smaller homes. So no problem with that. I do want to place a fish market. Let's back some of this up. Whoa. Or totally glitch out and get crazy. And I, oh, I forgot prop anarchy on, so we'll need to upgrade those roads. And the slope is too steep here, so we're gonna have to fix that. We'll do a little bit of playing with that after the fact to get it get it to work. And we are really not respecting the topography at all right now. I feel I feel terrible about it. <laughs> it is not right. And you see that those grades are significant. But this is a local road, so you can probably, if you're going to deal with it somewhere, this is probably the place that you can. All right, that's a little bit better. Really... This road should probably move back even further if we want the game to like the way it looks. Yeah, there's a whole bunch of stuff that should probably change here. So, let's do a little bit of work to try to improve this. It might start out with eliminating this road altogether. <laughs> so I shouldn't be wed to that road yet. There's nothing on it. Whoops, that is not what I meant to do. I just kind of want to feather this out a little bit. Create a nice smooth gradation there. So, next. Alright, so that's a lot better. Still a little bit ugly, but... It's okay. These homes are going to have some spectacular spectacular views though. That's going to be killer. All right. Very, very good. Very, very much enjoying this. Okay. So I was really bothered by this uh, center area in the harbor and I decided to look up a couple examples and, and what I'm seeing, well, <laughs> what I'm seeing is that uh, there are things that go in the center of these harbor areas and it's pretty easy to figure out what they are so i mentioned parking and that is oftentimes what you see there harbors uh or or, or that or or uh, sometimes uh commercial buildings so i think that what i'm gonna do is is put some sort of parking row right there so people can park in front of the harbor now one of the challenges is you can see that i have all of this clipping or uh, snapping not clipping but I've noticed that every now and then I get it to, to work gotta get real lucky <laughs> so there we go so I can work with this so what I'll do is I will just straighten this out I'm gonna level this and then I'm gonna upgrade it to a parking lot road we'll see I probably need to move that over just a little bit
Okay, very good. So I'm gonna go through here and I will just put some parking stalls on here. Okay, so now we're going to see how crafty I am. I'm going to try to to copy this. I am not sure how successful I'm going to be at that, but worth giving it a shot. All right, you know, that I think might have been more successful than I anticipated. <laughs> so... I will take the wins where I can get them. Okay, so I'm gonna try to get these fixed up fairly quickly. Shoot, making a couple mistakes. So one more, one more try. <laughs> Unfortunately, it wouldn't let me undo that one. So I think I see the problem I had. And it all revolves around the location of these uh, parking stalls. They're all shifted just a little bit. So if I can get these moved, I should be able to place my, uh, my last parking stall. Okay, so I think we have this cleaned up pretty nicely. Got one more to take a look at. We'll fix that middle one up and we'll be good to go. So this one appears to be in much better shape than the first one. That said, still have some room for improvement, so we'll do that now. Uh, we have some more kind of weird issues over here. So we'll need to remedy that too. Let's see that we have some of these parking lot assets out in the middle of the road. <laughs> All right, well, that's a thing. That's a thing that we will fix. Okay, and all it took was a ridiculous amount of using this for me to feel comfortable. <laughs> so I think now we're in a good spot and uh, we're coming to the end of, of doing that. So things are, are uh, in, a, in a good place here from the standpoint of, uh, you know, the, this parking area. I think we could improve the leveling just a little bit and I might try to do that. This is probably foolish. <laughs> oh, that was not foolish at all. That looks beautiful. So the other thing, I wonder if I can... Oh yeah, look at that. Let's clean up these edges a little bit. Love that. 
Now, I'm not really a detailer normally, but I really am enjoying this. Uh, this particular time around, so I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go for it. Okay, so looking, looking good. Looking like a fire because we have no city services over here. So this is a little village. It's going to need all of its own city services. So we're going to give it those city services. And we probably shouldn't ignore this fire. So maybe that's the first service that we'll give it. Maybe I'll use European buildings over here just to kind of just liven it up a little bit. So we don't have anything zoned over here. So I'm going to place our city services over here. Also gonna get anarchy off. Oh, that bugs me. <laughs> I really want this building to line up. And unfortunately, it is not lining up because it doesn't like the location I want to put it in. So I will do it myself. Okay, so we also need a clinic. And again, it's gonna be mad at me, so I will just take things into my own hands. And then last but not least, I think we need a crematorium. Um, uh, no, 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 we're gonna do a cemetery. No, no, we're not. There's just, that's there's not enough space for that. <laughs> I I'd like to, this is just not, a very forgiving landscape for that. So we're also going to need schools. I like the look of this. I think that it's a, a really neat asset. This is a an incredibly terrible place for the school though. So I might actually just build this road, continue on with this road. Get our topography back on. And uh, be underground <laughs> we build that road. <laughs> All right. Let's pop this back up to ground level. And let's move this school just over here. And we'll grade a little bit to, to make this fit in. Whoa, 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 whoa. Went extreme there. <laughs> Alright. So we have that. I think we would also expect to see a high school here. Although, truthfully, it's... Maybe that's not entirely necessary. People can... People can go a little ways to get to the high school. I am going to make this a residential area. We'll kind of transition to some smaller residential properties over here. And this bugs me, so I'm going to try to lower it just a little bit. And then we need some water pipes over here. Uh, so I'm going to district this, and I think I am going to use a European theme. I don't have a name for this area yet, so if you have anything in mind, let me know. Uh, Highland Hills. <laughs> All right, that uh, that's something. So we are going to set a couple policies over here. So first of all, let's set a theme. I am going to allow buildings that are not in this theme pack, and we're going to use European buildings. This might not work as expected. That uh, that's concerning. <laughs> All right, fair enough. Not enough fish. Well, I know the problem with that. We will deal with that in a minute. Right now, I wanna finish zoning, and I think that we're gonna kinda of just wholesale residential zone the rest of this. And then we'll set our policies, like I mentioned. And I don't use this, uh, this large brush very often, but this, is probably the one instance where it might make sense where I just have little tiny zones and I want to make sure that I that I hit them all so I will do that here nowhere else 
nowhere else. All right. So I need to hit some water pipes, or hit some water pipes. I need to get some water pipes going in here. And then we'll set some policies. And then I want to get those fishing routes going. And then I want to do a little bit of landscaping to finish off this area. We also still need the fish factory. Okay, and I don't love what's happening with this road here, so I think we're going to actually, you know, node controller is probably the best tool for this. Let's get out of here. Oh, much better. Make sloped, and we need to convert this road right here into a local road. Now, I do think, I kind of want to just go around with node controller and make sure that things are as clean as they can be. The other thing I want to do is, you know, I'm looking at these roads right here. I don't want any cars parking on the road because we've we built all this parking, so they might as well we might as well encourage them to use it. Oh, but this is shifted, and that's going to drive me bonkers. So I'm going to fix that real quick. Okay. Much, much, much better, straighter, floating cars here. <laughs> All right, well, uh, Albert Blackwell, you have you have a, a magic trick that I need to learn because <laughs> I will be very wealthy. All right, so I want to convert some of these roads, or I should say, all of the roads on Olivia Street to uh, to, to, to basically. I don't want. I don't think I want trees up and down, but I do. I don't want parking. Dang it, we built all of this parking and you're gonna use it. <laughs> Ooh. Oh shoot. So I did notice a problem and I made it worse. <laughs> That's the way it goes. All right, so I will fix this. I'm sure you guys are just in love with watching me build parking lots today. Okay, much, much better ish. <laughs> uh, back to what we were doing, upgrading these roads. Now, no one will park along Olivia. They will park in the public parking, they will float above it. Why are they doing that? That is crazy. Hopefully, that stops. I really, uh, I don't like that <laughs> but it seems like they're doing it at all of the lots except for this one interesting maybe it just gets better over time and uh, for the time being it's gonna be weird yeah it's problematic let me I'm just gonna speed it up and see if this gets fixed okay not so much <laughs> looks like that's just what we're doing so there's a huge need for workers over here. For some reason, a residential demand has now been met. So we're not doing that anymore. <laughs> so, all right. Well, let's let's worry about our uh, our fishing boats. So we are now going to need to catch some fish. So right here, let's take a look. So this is Salmon Fishing Harbor. So we want to go after the salmon that is in the pink. It's, it's a very short tour. <laughs> Next, we have the anchovy. Ooh, that is ugly. So we'll just use move it and see how much this messes things up. <laughs> oh, there's some weird stuff going on now. What did I do? What did I do?
We'll have some very, very natural boat movements. And I think this is going to fix it for us. And I'm sure that I'm going to hear from people about how unreasonable this is. And I think, I think you're absolutely right if you feel that way. <laughs> we'll see how it works. Uh, this makes me think that I should have spread this out just a little bit more, but I really like the look of it, so I'm going to go with it. Okay, next we have a general fishing harbor. So it doesn't really matter where we go with this one. So let's send this one out quite a ways. Okay. Next, we have our shellfish fishing harbor. We'll get her out there. The so shellfish is in purple. I think we're going to make this a pretty big route too, considering that there are lots of shellfish. So I believe this next one's a general fishing harbor. Yep, general fishing. So I think we're just going to send this one through the middle. There's not going to be a lot of uh, boat traffic in this area. So why not? And then last but not least is salmon. And this has to go quite a ways to get where it's going. So I'm going to send this a little ways out. I'm going to loop back around. Okay, look at all of those boats. Let's just take a minute to admire. Oh, I love that. that that's so cool. So cool. All right, yeah, that's, that's looking slick. So we have a lot going on. Things are moving in the right direction. We've got bodies piling up at the department store. Uh, yeah, <laughs> we've got things. We've got things. I'm just noticing another object height issue. There we go. But yeah, for the most part, things are looking good. I think that we could do a little bit with the smoothing on this hillside, but, but truthfully, I'm, I'm almost all right with it. I like all the little uh, shacks that are popping up. I think that this would make a ton of sense here. Ah, policy. I wanted to set a policy here related to education. So first of all, let's let's let these workers unionize. We'll have sustainable fishing, dolphin safe fishing. I, you know, no dolphins here, but increases happiness. We do have tuna fishing, so I guess that would be helpful. Next, let's see. have the schools out policy so that the workers will actually work in this area and not leave so the the other thing that I'm thinking about this area that's you know, so there's an interesting juxtaposition between this area and uh, Hillcrest which is really close and that is you know real blue collar and over here University Town so this is a big cul-de-sac and I, I can't stand that and it's very dangerous. So at some point, we're going to need to make a connection up this way to Hillcrest. I'm not 100% sure when we're going to do that. I don't think it's today because the last thing I want to do today is focus on the fish factory. So I think I might actually extend this local road up because we're going to put the fish factory right over here. Oh, look at that. Looks terrible. <laughs> that is... Oh, that is brutal. So let's get this fixed up a bit. That's a little bit better. 
so I don't love the location of this because it is I mean this this is an arterial uh, no matter how you slice it that's the way that this road is functioning right now so I have I have a, a high uh, basically a use that needs a, a high amount of or a high degree of access right on the main artery of the road that said you see this sometimes in small towns so it's not that it's abnormal it's just that it's not good <laughs> so um another thing i'm thinking about we're gonna have a garbage collection problem over here so we might as well take care of that right off the bat too because we have a sustainable fishing industry let's do a recycling center I think I'm going to place that right across the road. So we're going to temporarily cut off power to this area and really overload this area with uses that need a ton of access. Perfect. <laughs> Just what everyone was hoping for. And honestly, since we have this already zoned as a local road why not just have a little bit more commercial over here there's a need for it we can eliminate some of these power lines no reason not to in my mind just need to hope that this stuff develops quickly so the city doesn't die not looking super promising temporary power line perfect all right so last but not least, I want to do a little bit of landscaping in this area. And what I'm thinking is it might be nice to have you know, some, uh, I was thinking giant redwoods. Might be a little extreme, but, uh, but I like it. So I might just go with it. No, I'm not going to go with it. All these people with this great view of the water, and we put giant redwoods in the way. What are we thinking? <laughs> so let's do something a little bit closer to the ground. How about these alders? Whoops, did not mean to eliminate the main power line going to the city, but I did. And last but not least, let's put some oak trees. Okay, I am really, really liking the look of this this was a really fun build for me i hope it was a fun build for you too uh, i do think that uh, this is functioning well let's take a look hundred percent efficiency 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 29 percent efficiency Huh. Wait a minute. Let me just make sure that I, I did this correctly. Yeah, I did it correctly. It's just that this route kind of stinks. <laughs> I've got an idea. So I don't know what that madness is going to do <laughs> for, the, for the route, but it can't get any worse, right? <laughs> well, it can't get any better either, <laughs> apparently. Um, or I'm not giving it giving it enough time. Yeah, it's it's maybe it's too long. I'll have to I'll have to do a little bit of research into that. There's just not a lot of tuna in this area, and I really wanted to have a little bit of everything. So. Uh, sometimes 
you swing and you miss, I guess. <laughs> so the one thing I did want to balance in this area that I wasn't able to is I wanted the workers and the households to be balanced. And we just have a lot more jobs in this area than we do households. So I think, you know, if you were to fix this, the, the way to do it would probably be to have this truck flying. <laughs> uh, wow. We still have our floating cars. So yeah, we've got we've got issues. <laughs> um, I think the way to, to 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 deal with some of this might be transit routes. You know, some commuter type routes. Oh, look at that! Look at that! We're getting them. I thought maybe if I just play with it, I could get this stuff to be at the right level. And it's not working. I'll, I'll have to look that up. And I'm very curious. It's only some of them. Look, look at this one. This one's not floating. This one is. So I don't know if that's the road being not level. Or what the case is. But something. It doesn't like something. It doesn't like something at all. So either way. I'm really, really, really happy with how this turned out. So I hope that you've enjoyed this. I know this was a very long video, something a little different than what I've, I've done in the past. We're going to have a very short cinematic at the end, and I hope that you enjoyed this. If you did, please hit the like button. If you aren't subscribed to my channel, please consider doing so. And if you want to be notified when I release new videos, please consider hitting that notification bell. Ooh. I'm going to have to check that out in the future. Bye-bye. <laughs> oh, it's fine.